Back in 2021, Sony made waves in the cinema and content creation world with the release of the original FX3. This camera combined a full-frame sensor with a compact, mirrorless style body, making it a favorite for solo filmmakers, travel shooters, and content creators who needed professional-grade features in a portable package. The FX3 was praised for its lightweight design, excellent autofocus system, and strong low-light performance, positioning it as a versatile option for those working independently or on the go. However, despite its strengths, the original FX3 had some notable shortcomings, especially when compared to competitors like Panasonic and Fujifilm. It lacked internal RAW video recording and open gate recording features, both of which were becoming standard on rival cameras. These missing elements meant that filmmakers had to rely on bulky external recorders for RAW footage, which complicated setups and reduced the camera's overall portability and ease of use. Fast forward to 2025, and Sony is back with the FX3 Mark II, a camera that aims to address the original's weaknesses while preserving everything that made it popular. Early reports suggest this new model could significantly elevate the FX3 line, potentially establishing Sony as a dominant force in the compact cinema camera market. One of the most exciting upgrades is the addition of open gate recording, a feature that was missing from the first FX3 but is now catching up with industry standards. Open gate allows filmmakers to use the entire sensor area in a 3 to 2 aspect ratio, rather than cropping to traditional video dimensions. This capability offers tremendous flexibility for content creators because it lets them shoot with maximum sensor real estate and later crop the footage for various platforms, whether YouTube, Instagram Reels, or TikTok, without sacrificing image quality. This shoot once, use many ways approach makes the FX3 Mark II a highly attractive option for creators producing diverse content formats. Alongside open gate recording, the FX3 Mark II finally incorporates internal 12-bit raw video recording. Previously, shooting raw video with the original FX3 required an external recorder, adding bulk and complexity that somewhat defeated the camera's portable nature. Now, with internal raw, videographers get clean, high-quality footage directly from the camera, eliminating the need for additional gear. This upgrade means better color fidelity, greater dynamic range, and more flexibility in post-production. The ability to capture RAW internally brings the FX3 Mark II in line with higher-end cinema cameras and allows creators to produce polished, cinematic results straight out of the box. Why are these features such a big deal? First, RAW video offers an untouched image straight from the sensor. Unlike compressed formats, RAW preserves all the data captured, giving editors unprecedented control over color grading, exposure adjustments, and detail recovery. Coupled with 12-bit color depth, the FX3 Mark II's footage will show smoother gradients, finer color transitions, and better detail retention in both shadows and highlights. This makes the camera ideal for projects demanding high production values, where visual fidelity matters most. The open gate recording also represents a substantial advantage. By leveraging the full sensor, filmmakers gain more image to work with, which is perfect for reframing shots or matching different aspect ratios without quality loss. This feature is particularly useful in today's multi-platform world where content needs to be optimized for a range of devices and social media channels. Beyond these headline upgrades, the FX3 Mark II retains many of the features that made the original so beloved. It remains fast, lightweight, and user-friendly. The autofocus system benefits from Sony's acclaimed Alpha camera technology, offering real-time eye and face tracking that keeps subjects sharp even in fast-paced or unpredictable shooting environments. Anyone familiar with the autofocus performance on models like the Alpha 7S 3 or Alpha 1 will appreciate how smoothly the FX3 Mark II handles subject tracking. This makes it ideal for run-and-gun filmmakers, wedding videographers, or documentary makers who often shoot without elaborate setups. Despite its many strengths, there are a few considerations to keep in mind. While the FX3 Mark II is powerful, its small form factor means it can still struggle with heat dissipation during extended high-resolution recording sessions. Like its predecessor, it features an active cooling fan, but overheating could remain a potential issue if shooting prolonged 4K RAW or high frame rate footage. This is important for users to consider, especially those planning long continuous takes. When compared to other cameras in its class, such as Panasonic's S1H, Fujifilm's X-H2, or even Sony's own larger FX6, the FX3 Mark II stands out for its compactness and portability. It's lighter and smaller than the FX6, which can make a big difference for solo operators or those working in tight spaces. 
Pricing details haven't been officially released yet, but early speculation suggests it could be more affordable than some of its competitors, making it an enticing option for independent filmmakers and content creators. On the storage front, the FX3 Mark II includes dual card slots, one supporting CF Express Type A and the other SD cards. This provides flexibility, but also some drawbacks. CF Express cards are fast and reliable but expensive, while many SD cards don't match their speed, potentially limiting recording options. The dual slot setup is convenient, but might not fully satisfy all professionals depending on their media workflow preferences. Battery life is another area where some users might hope for improvement. The original FX3's battery life was modest, especially when shooting in RAW or high-resolution modes, often requiring frequent battery swaps. It remains to be seen whether Sony has enhanced battery efficiency or included higher capacity batteries with the Mark II, but it's definitely a factor to watch. The FX3 Mark II is expected to continue using Sony's impressive 12.1 megapixel full-frame sensor, renowned for exceptional low-light performance and excellent handling of mixed lighting situations. This sensor, paired with Sony's renowned color science, particularly their s cinetone profile, delivers cinematic-looking footage with natural skin tones and pleasing color rendition straight out of the camera. This minimizes the need for heavy color grading in post-production, a big plus for solo shooters and quick turnaround projects. From a design standpoint, the original FX3 was celebrated for its simplicity and user-friendly form factor. It's essentially a no-nonsense cinema camera that requires minimal additional rigging, no bulky cages needed to mount accessories. This ease of use, combined with versatile mounting points on the body, made it a favorite among solo creators who want to move quickly and shoot efficiently. Early indications suggest the FX3 Mark II will follow the same philosophy, maintaining an ergonomic design that supports intuitive operation while incorporating the latest technology. However, with all these exciting upgrades, the FX3 Mark II is likely to come with a higher price tag than its predecessor. For indie filmmakers, small production companies, or hobbyists, this could be a significant consideration. The balance between cost and features will be crucial in determining how widely the FX3 Mark II is adopted in the competitive market of cinema cameras. Another ongoing concern is heat management. Raw recording generates significant data throughput in heat, and if Sony hasn't significantly improved the cooling system, users might face limitations on continuous shooting durations. Overheating can lead to automatic shutdowns or reduced performance, which are frustrating interruptions during important shoots. We're hopeful that Sony has addressed this with more efficient heat dissipation or enhanced internal cooling mechanisms. Overall, the Sony FX3 Mark II represents a compelling evolution of the original FX3, especially for those who sought more professional features without sacrificing portability. With internal 12-bit RAW and open gate recording, Sony is clearly responding to the demands of modern filmmakers who need high-quality, flexible workflows packed into a lightweight, easy-to-handle camera. The addition of these features means creators can achieve greater control in post-production, produce richer imagery, and shoot versatile content formats without additional external hardware. While the camera is not without potential drawbacks such as battery life and heat concerns, the FX3 Mark II's combination of new capabilities and the proven strengths of the original model make it a standout choice for solo shooters, indie filmmakers, and content creators. It promises to be a powerful tool that fits neatly into the evolving demands of modern production environments. As we await the official release and real-world testing, excitement continues to build around the FX3 Mark II. If Sony delivers on its promises, this camera could become a benchmark in the category of compact cinema cameras, offering professional-grade video quality and advanced features in a package designed for mobility and ease of use. For anyone looking to elevate their filmmaking game without hauling heavy gear, the FX3 Mark II is definitely one to watch. Thanks for reading this deep dive into the Sony FX3 Mark II. If you enjoyed this overview and want to stay updated on the latest camera news and reviews, be sure to subscribe and keep an eye out for upcoming hands-on tests and detailed comparisons.